Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be trying out some new matte lipsticks that are new to me, and this is from Beauty Bakery, you guys. I feel like Beauty Bakery, no one really talks about them, and they deserve so much more attention to the brand. I love the detail to their products, and I really like a lot of their products that I have tried so far. And I came across them through Ulta, and this is the Beauty Bakery Waffle Things Matte Lipsticks. They came with 10 shades. It runs for $22 each, which I like the price point because it's not like 18, but it's not 28. You know, it's a perfect in between. And basically, it's supposed to give us a matte finish, glide seamlessly on our lips. Vegan and cruelty free, which you guys know I love. It's supposed to have a magnetic top, and today we're gonna be trying them on. We're just gonna see what is the consistency like, how do they look on, how does it feel on, is this actually worth picking up in case you've been eyeing them. And I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Everything will be listed in order in the description box as always. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's jump on in and try them on. Starting off on our first lip shade, this is called Waffle Taco, and I love the name of that. It's very like, very different. <laughs> and this is described on their website as a nutmeg peach tan lip shade but let me quickly show you the packaging because it has like a matte pa packaging to it like matte finish that's what i'm trying to say and the packaging it feels like it's made out of plastic uh, but i do love the fact of the little like detail all around the lipstick like it's super super cute it has little heart shaped kind of like little waffles and i absolutely love it you guys let's see if it has a scent and to be honest, it has no scent whatsoever, which I'm not mad at because I'm not a huge fan with products having scent. Sometimes I feel like they, they're too scented for my liking. So I'm gonna quickly swatch this on the back of my hand. And so far it feels really creamy. It feels really like almost hydrating for a matte lipstick, which I'm really surprised, but I'll see obviously once I apply it on, if it feels a little different, I'm gonna be a little bit more rough. But so far I glided on effortlessly, swatching the back of my hand. And I feel like it's a beautiful kind of like nude. It's giving me fall, winter, vibes which I really love and I just really like the undertone to it it's really really pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly remove the lip combo that I currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on a waffle taco I'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and look at that you guys I barely applied on any pressure so far it doesn't feel like I need like it's tugging at my lips when I'm applying this on and it feels really comfortable like really lightweight waffle taco obsessed with it you guys it's so pretty the formula is really 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 nice like if you typically stay away from matte lipsticks i would suggest you to try this out because our formula is really nice it feels really nice and lightweight moisturizing and like it doesn't tug when i'm applying on this matte lipstick i love the finish to it i literally feel like i don't have anything on my lips which is really surprising and i don't feel like it's enhancing the fine lines to my lips comment down below do you feel like it does i feel like it doesn't to be really honest but i love the undertone to this lip color i feel like it works really well with my skin complexion i can definitely see myself wearing this day or night it's a perfect everyday type of lip color shade you don't really even need a lip liner i feel it just looks so so pretty on so i'm really excited to see what the other lip shades look like but before that i forgot to mention earlier guys the top is magnetic oh my god i love that like that goes such a long way you don't have to worry about the top flying all around potentially losing it or even getting lipstick all in your handbag so let's move on to lip shade and number two we're gonna go ahead and try on it is called Belgium waffle and this is described on their website as a mauve pink lip shade and to be honest I found it to be pretty pigmented <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be like this dark of a shade it definitely has a rosy undertone i feel like this is a perfect like date night lip color to apply on i feel like lip shades like this also remind me of like the fall winter time for some reason i gravitate to darker lip shades during the fall winter time than during the summer time but it's still really pretty i'm excited to see how it looks on so i'm gonna go ahead and jump on in and apply on this lip shade i'm gonna start in the center of my lips and look how pigmented that is you guys really really pretty i'm gonna go ahead and press my lips together and we're just gonna see how it transfers over like if you wanted to apply on a sheer amount and so far it plays on really nicely and so far it doesn't look really patchy at all so i'm gonna go ahead and finish applying on this lip shade belgium waffle is really pretty i actually would apply a sheer amount and then press my lips together just to get a little pop of color to my lips like a natural little blush of color for today's video i applied on two layers just because i really wanted to see like how pigmented it would be so you can see the color pay off but it's really pretty it was really easy to apply on it didn't tug at my lips when i was applying on this lip shade my lips do not feel dry in any way it feels like hydrating comfortable 
literally like I don't have anything on and yeah it just feels really really nice again I haven't picked up a scent to these lipsticks and so far so good comment down below if you naturally gravitate towards pinky mauve lip shades I typically don't I gravitate towards like a warm kind of like yeah like a warm type of nude tan type of lip stick <laughs> like the first one we just tried on that is totally my jam so let's move on to lip shade number three the third lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on it is called i'm pretty sure this is how you pronounce it chicken and waffle <laughs> and we all know what a chicken and waffle is and this is basically it i love this shade you guys it looks so so pretty perfect fall winter date night valentine's type of a lip color it's almost like a traditional red but this is described on their website as a burnt brick red and it's really really pretty i feel like it's going to work really well with my skin complexion and i just really love the consistency so far swatching back in my hand it is really pigmented i didn't even notice any patchiness or anything like that so i'm very excited to see this is going to be you know my new favorite shade especially if i go out on a date you never know you know what i mean you never know so i'm going to start in the center of my lids and look at that you guys it looks so so pretty i'm blown away because i typically don't gravitate towards brick red lip colors typically but this is actually really nice let me go ahead and press my lips together and it transfers over pretty pretty nicely so so far so good chicken and waffles is actually really pretty i love it on as you guys already know <laughs> and i really love the undertone i feel like it works really well with my skin complexion i love the fact that the lipstick has a fine point to their lipstick that you can use it to line your lips because i definitely used it to clean out the edges i also went in with a small little detailed brush as well so if it looks a little funky i'm sorry i tried my best to make it look all nice and even <laughs> but i really love this lip shade it feels really comfortable hydrating i feels a light wait i didn't notice any patchiness and let's quickly do a transfer test just for the heck of it it doesn't mention on their website that it's transfer proof or long wearing but i'm just curious because the formula just feels like it maybe kind of would be in a way so let's just give it a try as you can see i don't have anything in the back of my hand so let me go ahead and quickly it transfers over really lightly and so far it looks like it's still on so so far so good I really like that. It's nice to know. <laughs> so let's move on to lip shade number four. And this is called, hold on a second, Carrot <laughs> Cake Waffle. And this is described on their website as a cinnamon orange, which I've never swatched a lip color that was described as a cinnamon orange, but I do like it, you guys. I gravitate towards lip colors like this, so I'm super excited. <laughs> I feel like this will look so pretty on and then apply a light amount of like a lipstick that's a little bit lighter just to give it a little pout effect. I really, really like it. It's definitely giving me fall winter vibes in the best way and it's so pretty. I find it to be really unique and I don't know if I would wear this during the day but I definitely wear it at night if I was gonna go out for dinner and a date night or something. If anything, I'd probably apply it like a sheer amount, just a little wash of color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump on in and we're just gonna see basically what it's all about so i'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and definitely it is pretty pigmented i'm gonna go ahead and press my lips together and for sure it looks really pretty on if you apply on a little sheer amount just a little pop of color to your lips carrot cake waffle very pretty i absolutely love it i feel like it works really well with my skin complexion i feel like they described this lip shade perfectly like a cinnamon orange comment down below if you agree i just feel like it looks so pretty on oh, definitely give me fall winter vibes like i thought the lipstick again i like the fine point that it has because i use it to line my lips and clean out the outer edges it is definitely really pigmented keep in mind that i did apply on two layers of this lipstick but again you can apply on a sheer amount if you want a little blush of color and i feel like a little product goes a long way when it comes to this lip color so let's move on to our last and final lip shade and this is called waffle gato okay and that reminds me of an affogato and affogato is so good you guys it's like my two favorite things coffee and ice cream oof delicious delicious <laughs> and this lip shade is described on the words i'm going to read it from the paper because i literally forgot <laughs> it's described as a neutral pink rose lip shade and it is so pretty you guys definitely giving me like summer springtime vibes i feel like it looks really really pretty and i don't naturally gravitate towards like pinky lip shades like this but we'll see how it looks on who knows maybe I end up really liking it and i feel like this is a perfect like daytime 
lip shade. Obviously, you can wear any type of lip color anytime during the day. You can get really creative when it comes to lip liners as well. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on in and apply this on in the center of my lips. And how pretty, you guys. It literally looks like my natural lip color, but a little pinky undertone. I really like how subtle it is so far. Obviously, we'll see once I apply it on, maybe I'll change my mind. So I'm going to quickly finish applying this on. Waffle Beautiful, you guys. I really love this lip shade. It's very unique, very nude, but at the same time, it's a little pop of color in the best way. Very natural. And again, I still feel like it's a perfect like summer, springtime lip shade. You can wear any type of lip color any time of the year but this is basically you guys the formula hasn't changed there is no scent it's really creamy hydrating super pigmented it doesn't feel drying on the lips and i don't really feel like it's enhancing the fine lines it doesn't feel thick and gunky and it doesn't apply on like patchy in any way or flaky i haven't noticed any flakiness so so far so good for 22 dollars is it worth it i definitely feel like it is like I'm not hugely impressed with the packaging, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like for $20, it's definitely in the formula of this lipstick, which is basically what we're looking for. I love the fact that the top is magnetic and I love how colorful the packaging is as well. It's bright and pink, it's easy to spot in case you're looking for this lipstick itself. And so far, I really like the size as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below which lip shade was your favorite. Also comment down below if you have any video ideas. I'm always looking for video ideas, but this is basically it, you guys. I love you all so, so much. Have a beautiful day, and until my next video, bye!